Meet Die Dead Girl, my main account. Ever since the collection log was released, I've been working on collecting all the different items in the game. After starting my Chunkman series, I've been neglecting the account, but now it's time to resume collecting and share the adventure. Last episode, we added 4 items to our collection. First we got the Pigasian Crystal, then the Rock Golem Pet while star mining. After that we got the Guild Hunter Headwear and we finished with Scurious's Spine. Our current tasks are a medium and a hard task to get a unique from the Moons of Peril and an elite to get another unique from the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. Back at the entrance of the Moons of Peril. We currently have only two items at the Moons of Peril here. So we got the Eclipsed Moon Chestplate and the Dual Makwa Hittles, which I am going to use as these are pretty good in here. And we of course got the darts as well. We got 57 chests, which means we should have three items. It's actually a 1 in 19, so it's exactly three items we should have seen in this kind of kill count. So I am pretty much hoping that this doesn't take all that long. And if I have to be really picky, I really want the blood moon pieces as that's the most annoying boss and I want to skip that one as soon as I can. But yeah, let's go in and let's see how long this takes. Oh yeah, forgot about that. I kinda took uh, Dragon Scimitar with me just because I knew we still had two combat achievements left and one was to kill all three of the moons with a Dragon Scimitar to get the back to our roots combat achievements. The last one that is left is to kill a moon with its associated weapon drop. I can actually get that as well as we have the dual Makwa Hittles with us, so I guess we will green log the combat achievements for the Perilous Moons after this. And there we go. That's Betrayal because we used our new weapon to kill the boss. Now if we go to the combat tasks. For the Moons of Peril we are 12 out of 12. So the only thing we need to do here is to get all of the uniques and hopefully that goes pretty smoothly. Oh yes! That was fairly soon and it's a Blood Moon item. Really happy with this. I was thinking that it would take a bit longer. Only 8 chests and we are done. Let's just go and complete it and let's pick some other tasks. We have the option to either complete the hard task or the medium task, but I think it makes the most sense to complete the medium task. So let's see if we can get 99% or not if we complete this Moons of Petals task. We do not. Okay, that means that there are two tasks left, I think. Let's clear up the other two and let's get some new ones. Okay. Straight back into Moons of Peril for the medium task. LMS for the hard task. And Elite is going to be... One unique drop from the God Wars dungeon. I kinda still have a Slayer task to do Krill. But if we are going to use Arclight, I'd also like to just get the upgrade first before we return. We might go to another Godward boss then. Before we do any of our tasks, I want to get one thing out of the way and that is some construction. I've been meaning to do this for a couple of months now, after completing the full log for Mahogany Homes, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And that's just to max the skill so we can have the skill cape, which has an amazing perk to just teleport you to the house. We need 6 levels to actually get there, but I do have all of the planks, so that should not pose that much of a problem. And this is pretty much to try to get to max total level before we get to the end of the year. I've already trained up really close to 94, so let's get into the house. Let's build the table. And let's be level 94 construction already 
a bit over two hours later and that's already 94 to 95 construction four levels to go another couple of hours later and that's 96 another couple of hours of mindlessly clicking and that's 97 construction and there's the penultimate one 98 and then after a lot of planks a lot of unnoting the planks a lot of clicking let's turn in the only long bone we have and the bank to barlak here and with that we are 99 construction i'm not sure how many at 99 it is but we have six skills left 2244 total 33 levels to go let's go get our reward as that cape is going to be really really important can you sell me a skill cape of construction 99,000 coins and there we go the construction cape acquired we can now just have a one click teleport to our house and we never have to use teleport tabs anymore to get to our house all right after that little detour of getting the construction cape it's time to do our normal tasks again and get some new collection log slots i'm going to do some commander ziliana and we are missing the armadale crossbow and the saradomans light the Saradomans Light is pretty much the item we are going to get, as I doubt we will get the Armadol Crossbow, but we did get the Saradoman Hilt the last time instead of the Light, so might actually be an option to get the Crossbow, but I'm not betting on that. We currently have 136kc, should go up pretty easily as the boss is pretty easy to kill with the Tebow setup. I'm first of all going to get some Ancient KC to get to the next bank so we can bank pretty quickly and we might actually get an item here as we are still missing two items here and that's the ancient ceremonial gloves and boots so if you're a little lucky we can snag another one of those oh oh we actually got it Saradomans Light. I've not been having the greatest time over here as I died. But like 190kc Saradomans Light. Still under the drop rate. Really happy to get that as that was also like the last kill of the trip as I don't have any more stamina potions. All in all this didn't actually take all that long to get the unique from the God Wars dungeon. Just walking in circles every 3 minutes is... yeah... I wasn't really in the mindset after the death and wanted to go to the drop rate which is 250 but we got it under the drop rate so that's amazing to see. We are 61% elite, can we make it 62 if we complete this task? Yes we can, really nice. Then let's clear up the dark bow paint and the moons of petal unique. And let's see what's the new medium task. Again, a Moons of Petal unique. A hard task is going to be also a Moons of Petal unique. Can we get the triple or will we get something else for the elite task? Ooh, one unique from the DT2 bosses. I'd like to go back to Duke. But I'd like to get the upgrade from while Goodex sleeps first. And that's still a couple of days away. So I guess we're going to go back to the Moons of Battle. Let's look at our collection log for the Moons of Battle. We currently have 4 out of 13. So 3 pieces plus the darts. And we did that in 65kc. We also have two blood pieces, which is amazing, as if we could get the last two, we can just skip that boss, which is pretty much the most annoying boss of the three. So I'm really hoping for either the chest plate or the tacits, 
but pretty much any item that we get pretty soon-ish, I'm gonna be happy with. And this is going to be chest number 84, which means that's the 119 drop rate for a single item. Do we get one? No, of course not. We'll have to continue. Hopefully we'll get one before 100, as we are not just dry on this toss, we're just dry in general at this point. Well, that prediction didn't come through. This is skill number 100, and we still do not have any new piece. I I'm not really sure what this is about the perilous moons. I really like battles, but I kind of dislike this. I'm not really sure what this is about, but it also might have something to do with that. I'm always dry on some piece here, so we'll see how long it takes before we get the next piece, but hopefully it won't be like in 25 kills. Well, this is going to be chest number 115, which means we will have 50 chests opened this grind. And we still do not get anything. Ah, our luck here is really cursed, but we need to keep going. We need to get an item and yeah, we'll get it eventually, I guess. And this is going to be just number 125, and still nothing. Oh, fucking finally! And it's a Blood Moon piece. Oh, fucking finally. 128 Lunar Chests. We've doubled our KC just for this one fucking item. Oh my god. God, I'm happy to get this. And it's a blood item, which means that if we look to our collection log, that we are 3 out of 4 for the blood moon items. And that means if we get just the tacits, we are free from the blood moon. I have never felt such relief from getting an item before, but thank God this is done. Bloody hell, that took way longer than I imagined it was going to be. We have finished the one unique from the Moons of Battle. Let's complete the medium task as the hard tasks are supposed to be harder for the later items. So let's complete one unique from the Moons of Battle. That's probably going to put us up to 99%. Let's see. Yes, of course, because there's just one task left. Let's clear out the hard task for another Moon of Petal item. Let's clear the DT2 unique as well. And let's generate the last medium task, which is a unique from the Hunter's Guild. And let's now just hope we don't get two Moons of Petal items because I really do not want to get back there. So let's see, the hard one is going to be... Dark Pope Paints from LMS, not much better. Let's see what the elite task is going to be. Generate a task. Ooh, one piece of the Dagon High Robes. Yes, please. The reason why I was so happy when I saw that elite task is because we are a main account, which means we can just buy the keys. And even better, I've already bought the keys. You can see they are 117k each at the moment, but I actually bought them a couple of months ago at a very bottom price of 101k each. It took a while before they filled, but I got 300 keys because of that. If we look at the Grand Exchange, I still have an offer in for about the same amount, but in the last couple of months nobody has dropped that many keys that the price dropped below 100k so we haven't been lucky on those yet if we look at the Larin's keys and the Dagon high pieces the Dagon high pieces are a 1 in 256 for the three items so pretty much we already have all of the keys if we just go on drop rate i'm probably gonna take like 10 keys at a time if we get pk'd we will only lose a couple but I don't really mind losing the loot that we get from the keys, I just want the log slot anyway. So if a PKer comes by, PKs us, after we have already done the 10 keys, I don't really mind losing like a couple hundred K of loot. 
But let's go up to the mage bank and let's start opening some Laren's keys. At the chest, I'm not really sure if we have already opened some. Oh, okay, we've already opened 61 chests. So it shouldn't take long before we get one item, I guess. First 10 are going to be... Well, first two not all that great. And third one also not that great. Jesus, some more uncut rubies. We're pretty much losing money now. Oh, okay, there's a decent drop. And again... Some rune full helms, and again... And some more gold ore. And there's the first 100 opened. And oh fuck, yeah, I'm dead. Ah, uh, this sucks. Well, at least we've looted everything. At least we saved 113k. But yeah, what I was going to say is that we're at 180 Laren's chests opened. And that means that's the drop rate for like two pieces of the set. So yeah. Guess we're going to go dry here as well pretty heavily, but yeah, we're, we're making some money anyway. Even with this debt, I think we are still going to be in the green because I bought the keys at such a low price. Let's maybe go to a total world, a 2200 total world, and let's hope there are not more PKers there because that's pretty much why I didn't go to a total world. Oh, we got it! We only had to die to get it, but that's the Dagon High Rope Top. That's also like the best piece to get money-wise. It's like one and a half mil while the rest is below one mil. Ah, but yeah, really happy to have gotten it at 187 keys. All right, let's have a little look at the loot tracker. We have opened 130 chests. I'm not really sure why it says 130. It should be 129 because I rounded off the KC here. And we made 16.2 mil, which is more than what the keys are worth. So pretty much we made more money even with the debt of like 1 mil that you should subtract from this. I don't really mind dying. I wouldn't mind dying more if I lost the keys. Uh, but yeah, Dagon High Rope Top, our first one. If we look to the Slayer section, just the hat and the bottoms left, but we've gotten the Rope Top. Well, this was a fun task, excluding the death of course, but that's life. We are 62% elite, can we make it 63 by completing the Dagon High Rope piece? No, we cannot. Alright, let's clear out the hard task. We do not need to clear out the medium task because there's only one left. And then let's go for another hard one. Ooh, infinity bottoms. Might have to green log. MTA. Might be a very good task, but let's see the elite one first. Oh god, fish sack. Okay, that's actually perfect. I'm gonna go and get 100 pearls for the fish sack. We need 1000, so I might have to do this a couple more times before we actually get there. And then we're just gonna go to MTA and finish off that log. The fish sack and the last MTA unique will have to wait until next time as we've reached the end of the episode. 
Some nice progress for our maxing grind with 99 construction. And we died at Zeliana and at the Laren's chest to get a new log slot in the next trip. So the drop rate of items must really increase when you die. Jokes aside, have a great day and see you all in the next one.